according to multiple different organizations, this bill does raise taxes. They're wrong. It does not raise taxes. Okay, you've heard that before, that a new round of spending won't raise taxes and definitely won't worsen inflation. But the American people and some Republicans don't seem to be buying it. It actually increases inflation. It doesn't decrease inflation. Those making less than 200000 a year, not the ultra-wealthy, but like you and me, at least me, I don't know about you, Charles, uh, 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 we're going to be paying more in taxes, according to the Joint Committee on Taxation. Congressional Budget Office says it doesn't decrease inflation. Everything they're saying, as best we can tell, is not true. And he signed off on the infrastructure bill, hoping this wouldn't come down next, and it eventually did. And if you don't trust a politician to tell you this, take the word of 230 economists who just sent a letter to Congress saying that the Inflation Reduction Act would, quote, perpetuate the fiscal policy errors that help precipitate the current troubling economic climate, a.k.a. don't make the same mistake twice. 230 economists, the former governor of Indiana, former OMB director, and president of Purdue University, hence his backdrop. Mitch Daniel joins us right now. Governor, great to see you. Thanks for your time. Hi, Brian. I just got to tap in. You have so many different hats that you've worn, but OMB director is one. This, three, this $735 billion overall spending plan, does it make you feel more optimistic or less optimistic about the health of our economy? Well, I have, I'm very reluctant to criticize anything that at least expresses the intent to reduce our debt and deficits uh, over time. Uh, that's at least a stated intention of this bill, and it's about time somebody uh, offered one with that goal. Uh, I have to say that um, I'm not sure this will accomplish it. I certainly uh, agree with those who don't see it having an anti-inflation effect, certainly not anytime soon. So uh, maybe a case of uh, a reasonable goal, at least by um, one of its proponents, but um, I'm not sure they have the right means. Right. Uh, we're seeing some of the stats there, 15 percent minimum tax on large corporations. Senator Sinema might have dislodged that a little. This is the one thing I want to get you to, because you're on a college campus. Everyone talks about green and climate change, and it's a big worry. $369 billion worth of investment in climate and clean energy, the biggest investment by far in American history. Your thoughts? My thoughts are we don't need to be spending 360 billion more dollars on anything right now. If if the uh, advocates of this bill are really serious, they would concentrate on spending reduction, and uh, and uh, debt reduction in the near term. This is it's very ironic to answer this question from a college campus because the incredible injustice that we're going to do to today's young people—they're the ones uh, on whom these. Uh, yep. na uh, almost unpayable bills are going to be deposited. And so uh, uh, I have to say that if, if their goal was to start back down uh, on a path toward lower debt, uh, bravo for that. The means they've chosen to do it, I think, are very unlikely uh, 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 to uh, get us very far. In fact, could be counterproductive. I want to bring it to another area of your expertise, and that's college uh, financing and students and, and the tuition, which is a challenge. I know as a parent now with uh, two kids in college, three overall, I know how expensive it is. You, one thing you did is you stopped raising tuition at Purdue, and now there's a big story about what should we do about student loan debt. It's been on pause since the pandemic started, and their pressure on Joe Biden to forgive all student loan debt from Senator Schumer, his own party. Should you forgive student loan debt? First thing I'll say is that the best way to help students uh, avoid excessive debt is don't charge so darn much in the first place. And thanks for uh, noting at Purdue University, it's less expensive all in room, board, and tuition to attend than it was in 2012. That's why student debt at our institution is down by a, a full third, even with a bigger student body. No, with regard to the debt that's out there, um, I, I find it indefensible uh, to uh, do what they have talked about doing. Very regressive, rewards wealthy people or people who are destined to be wealthy more than uh, people of moderate income. It's very unfair to those who lived up to their responsibilities and paid their bills. Brian, uh, uh, 99 plus percent of Purdue graduates pay back any student loan that they uh, took. What am I supposed to tell them when others are uh, mm -hmm. get off scot-free? I hear you. I, I ripped every coupon out of my book. Showed I, I went to school from 82 to 86. I was proud to finish it off, but it was a lot less in fairness to this generation. Lastly, Charlie Kirk's best-selling book is out saying, making the case against college. You're better off taking the money, starting your career. Only 40% of people do something in their major. 
What do you think as a guy who's president of a great university? I think that the, he's right in part, but maybe overstates the case. Uh, I think it is absolutely uh, accurate that for some time we may have encouraged too many people to go to college or some people who ha might have had a better path forward in life. There are a lot of, for instance, there are a lot of uh, skilled trades um, in, in which uh, electricians, for example, or plumbers, in which a competent uh, craftsman can uh, make uh, more money than, a, than the average uh, a bachelor's degree holder. So. Um, I do think we may have overstressed it in the past. On the other hand, I think it'd be a big mistake to dissuade talented young people from the uh, uh, credential and the uh, skills uh, that uh, can uh, really advantage them later in life. Right. So the answer is to make it more valuable by uh, uh, not overcharging. And, and by the way, don't look down on people that don't. Uh, to, to, it's it's great honor to have a skill. It should be it's laudable in society. We have to revisit how we look at that. And I continue to be impressed, Governor, by how many things you do well. Uh, and I know the best is probably yet to come. Mitch Daniels, thanks so much for your time. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.